So I'm going to call our, our I'm going to call our meeting to order. This is a select board meeting, April 12th via Zoom. It is 6:02 actually right now, and uh, so these meetings, as usual, are all being done remotely. We're being over, through Zoom, and you, everyone, can watch these meetings through our FCAT. Um, our, uh, 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 video on demand. It's through YouTube, and our channel is called FCAT Media. If you search for FCAT Media, you will find all of our Conway meetings and also Deerfield Sutherland and Waitley meetings if you really can't sleep at night. So, so the first item on our agenda is we're gonna we're gonna approve the minutes of of the April fifth meeting. Did everybody get a chance to look at the minutes? Mm -hmm. Very good. Looks fine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a motion. We accept the minutes. I'll so second. Erica seconds, and uh, we will. Yes. I hear a yes from Phil and a yes from Erica, and I'll say yes. So that's uh, uh, unanimous. So we have four warrants to approve today. Um, the warrants are the vendor warrant for $88,985.15, the payroll warrant for $110,048.79, the payroll deduction warrant for $27,730.35, and the school activities fund for $372.87. So did everybody have a chance to look at any of the background material for those? They look all right? Look fine. <clears throat> yep. So I'll make a motion that we approve those four warrants and fund. Uh, can I get a second? Second. Second. Thank you, Erica. Everybody say, uh, everybody in favor say aye. Yes. So I hear Phil say aye. Aye. Erica says aye, and I say aye, so that's unanimous. We'll accept the warrants. So how about uh, meetings attended by select board members? Um, none this week for me. I think you were at the oh, interim sorry. interviews, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, an hour ago. <laughs> no, no, well, and the ones last, was it Thursday? Or um, Thursday? Yeah, I think I'm all zoomed out just like you. Um, yes, so we did, um, we forwarded two candidates um, to the select board. Um, made a decision to offer the position to um, to one of them. And then we just met to um, negotiate that contract. Yes, we did. So how about you, Phil? Yep. You had lots more. of meetings, as I remember. I, I had a few more than that. I had a, um, a Frontier Regional School Committee meeting, a Conway Grammar School Committee meeting, and a Union 38 uh, School Committee meeting. And um, uh, I get yours truly was appointed to uh, to negotiate a new contract with the business manager on behalf of the school and the towns. So hooray for me. <laughs> uh, yeah. So meeting meeting on that tomorrow. <laughs> Can't wait. Um, and then I also was uh, part of the interviewing committee on Wednesday and uh the negotiations committee <laughs> um, an hour ago. So great. Well, my only meetings this week were the interim TA interviews and the, the negotiation. And it is fair to say that I I think we hired a great guy and uh, and we just negotiated a good contract that I think we can afford but it will require some work. So I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. And now, now we can think about getting to work on the, the permanent replacement. So are there any public comments? Hearing none. Um, sorry, I just took a oh, second at my computer. Sure. Um, Brendan O'Connell. Um, I was just checking. Um, Erica told, told me that I was already on the agenda for the mail section, but I just wanted to confirm that. Um, I'm... 
uh, we'll be there soon enough. Although if, if you, you, you know, you, because you send in a piece of mail, we would mention that we, you, that, or Erica would mention that she got mail from you. Um, but if you want to have, make your comment, you could do that now if you want. Oh, I just, whatever works for you in terms of the flow of the meeting. Um. It, it doesn't matter. Um, in, in either case, um, because we have nothing on the agenda dealing with your what you want to talk about, we you know you can make your comments, but we can't like discuss it. We can't make any decisions. We can't we can't deliberate on whatever the item is um, because it's not on our agenda. And you know having it on the agenda would give other people a chance to come to the meeting and and you know be part of the conversation. So okay. so um, you, you know how that works. I mean it's it's the open meeting yeah. laws and. We, right. We, we, we work hard to try not to violate them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess probably then I would make the comment and then um, is, is, would you discuss the comment or does it need to be an agenda item in order for it to be an item of discussion? We wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, discuss it no matter whether you call it, do it a comment or, or er Erica would, could read your mail, but we still wouldn't, we wouldn't be um, commenting or discussing your mail other than to say, gee, we should have him come into a, you know, a, a future select board meeting and add him to the agenda. I see. Okay. All right. I guess I'll make the comment then. Um, <laughs> um, Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I was doing this right. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna read um, an email I sent to, or selections from an email. Read it themselves. Oh, okay. That'd Did, be all right, Wh whatever. Is, sorry, Eric. That's the whole point. They're just talking about, like, what's the next? Okay. Do um, you think that's what they're gonna do during the mail section? Is yeah, mail? well, so is Erica going to read the mail I sent during the mail section or is that not the case? Well, she probably would not do it if you want to, you know, talk about it now. But, but I mean, often we move our agenda around for people who are on the meeting that might not want to stick around for the rest of the meeting to let them go as early as possible, which is what this feels like. Okay. And that's okay. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely fine. Um, in, 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 in no case would we, you know, would we make any plans or you know come to a conclusion or deliberate on any issue unless it was on the agenda okay and, and it's not on the agenda other than you can you know and, and 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 you making the comment is fine to do it now and give us something to think about for when you come in in the future and want to have a deliberation on an issue and then and then and then you can ask the town administrator or, or, or um or, or the select board here today to add it to the agenda for next week. Add the item itself, I see. not the not the letter about the item, but add the item to the agenda is what Bob is referencing here. It's two separate things. It's kind of a. Um, does okay. that make sense? Um, I I think so. Yeah. Um, I was just a little bit confused because I thought it was on the agenda. Um, I I apologize for that. I but was I think that was my misunderstanding. Um, Tom had told me that that he was what well, yeah basically that he was listing your letter as mail and then um bob had uh had just re reiterated that you know because these are open meetings that you were welcome to attend basically i see okay i'll just wait for the mail section then i think if it's our if it's been entered sure. as mail, then great okay <laughs> okay <laughs> all right thank you great <laughs> sorry for the confusion not at all so we had two things, and our meeting, Brendan, our meeting is going to be, I, I, I really hope, very short today. So that's even better. Okay, uh, great. Thank you. <laughs> so, so the first perfect. item on our old business was signing the contract with the, the new interim town administrator. And I don't think we're quite ready to sign it yet. Uh, we have to make some small changes that we just negotiated, and Tom will be getting it to us. And... Uh, I mean, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, Tom, but, uh, you know, I, w w I don't think we can sign something that doesn't exist. So we may have to have an emergency meeting before now and Friday. Or, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll set something up. Um, would, um, uh, uh, let me just, let me just look at my calendar here. 
I, I mean, this, we're, we talked about the, uh, Ross, the new interim TA coming in next month, starting his job next Monday. So we would want to have it signed before next Monday. Yeah. Um, uh, Although, Tom, what do you he think did about sound like it, it would be okay with him to get started, even if, if it's not signed, but I don't know if that's legal. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any need for that. Uh, how, do, how does Thursday uh, late afternoon sound? Actually sign the contract. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. I'm um, Starting Saturday, I'll be out of town. So I'm I'm scheduled for a negotiating session at four o'clock on Thursday, but I might not need it if tomorrow is all done. So I don't. Um, well, we, we we could make it at six instead of five. Five is probably better for me, but I really? can do six as okay. well. Okay, sure. Five would be better for me. Uh, I'm not sure it's better for me. Um, we have an FCAD board meeting at from 5.30 to 6.30. 6 um, uh, other than that, but I'm chair of the FCAD board, so I, I really need to be at the FCAD board meeting. So. Well, if I, I will send it out in advance, and uh, the meeting doesn't have to be um, any more than, you know, five minutes. If if everybody agrees that I've included everything in the contract, okay. I mean, five o'clock would work for me then, or six thirty would work for me. Five works for me. Or oh, but Phil, is that too early? No, that's good. That's fine. Great. Thursday at five o'clock. That sound good, Tom? Yeah, real quick. Okay. Um, Tom, do you have any budget changes, any budget update? Uh, no, I don't. Um, I am within an inch of having my budget document completed, but was not able to do that today. And you mentioned something here, Articles 22, 26, 27. I, I don't know what that's about. Oh, right. Sorry. There there are more. Um, did I not send out a draft warrant? Um, no, I, I got that. You did. Um, yeah, did okay. So um, th th those are articles that are non-money articles that you have not yet put forth a recommendation for. Um, one of them is, um, uh, what is it? Uh, well, 22 and 23 aren't quite ready yet because I don't have the street number of the parcels that we're considering asking the town to buy. Um, and, but Article 25 is the um, changing the date of town meeting, proposing to, to change the bylaws to change the date of town meeting. And Article 26 is proposing to change the term Board of Selectmen to Select Board. So I think those are both things that everybody agreed to earlier, so it wouldn't be hard to get a, a, a quick unanimous recommendation on those if you wanted. So we could do that now if everybody agrees. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I, Article 25, uh, changing how we specify the date, and Article 26, um, changing the name to Select Board. Doesn't 27 go with 26? Um, Yes, and and you you could make a recommendation on that as well. So sometimes the select board doesn't make recommendations on planning board articles, but I think this one would be a good one to weigh in on. That that's also changing the term board of selectmen to select board in the 
uh, protective bylaws or zoning bylaws. Yeah. And the planning board recommended it. So why not do all three at once? Okay. So how about um, we'll start with Article 25. Uh, I'll make a motion that, well, um, I don't think... I don't think we need to do a motion. We just need to find out how people are voting, and we're gonna we're gonna vote. You know, the the motion the motion is to recommend the article. So so I but we need to have a count of who supports recommending this article. Yes. I'm yes for twenty five, twenty six, and twenty seven. So so we need a second. We need second. a second. I get that. Okay. So twenty five, twenty six, and twenty seven. So I heard a yes from Phil for all three. I think yeah. I heard a yes from Erica for all yeah. three. And I'll vote yes for all three. Thank you. So that's what we need to do. Great. Uh, for new business. Uh, we don't have a plan right now. Now that we've finished with, now that we've hopefully hired a the interim TA on how we're going to start the interview process. Um, I think we need to start it by getting some uh, having having the, uh, uh, the the screening committee send up the uh, you know their comments and 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 the information about the uh, the four people they're going to recommend to us. Yes, I, I'm, I'm prepared to do that. There had been some thought um, that the job description might change. So I just wanted to see whether or not um, we're actually interviewing people for the same position. So last week when we talked about it briefly, there was some talk about whether we want to keep this as a full-time position or have it not be a full-time position. And and last week, you know, I'll paraphrase. It seemed to me Phil has said he now supports it being a full time position. And Erica, you thought maybe not. Well, I know that at least one of the candidates, and possibly two, suggested that they would be interested in taking the position um, and not having it be a full time position. Um, so I just wonder, I mean, do we have that kind of flexibility? Um, you know, if the candidate that we decide on says, I think I can do this job in four days a week instead of five. I think we do. Yeah, I mean, just because it says it's a full-time position doesn't mean that's how it has to be. I don't see how that would require a change in the job description. It's just the flexibility that comes with being the employer. Right. I mean, I still think it's a full-time position. Um, I mean, there might be an issue over how to staff the office for the day somebody doesn't want to be there. Yeah, that, well, that was my only, um, you know, that was my only kind uh -huh. of um, concern. You know, the, the thing, like when I, when I, I, I thought of, I, I've been thinking about all this stuff and I thought, you know what? It is a five million, five, six million dollar a year going concern. And uh, there should be someone, there should be someone there during, you know, there should be someone there. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, it's, it's both the money and there, uh, you know, generally we, we think of the town administrator as supervising, you know, important staff people. And I still yeah, think, and, 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 with, it, and within that full-time framework, there's still room for a lot of diversity as to how that position could look and what qualifications you want and, um, and all that. And, and, and what, com what qualifications you weigh, you decide to weigh higher than other ones um, it, it, it is, is, I guess, what I'm getting at. And so that, you know, I, um, well, well, no. one of my concerns is, is that the position you know, was advertised and the people who applied for it, um, who saw the ad advertisement and the, you know, job listing and all of that, um, they're, assume that it, they're assuming that it's being listed as a full-time position. If it's not going to be that, 
then I think it ought to be re-advertised. I, I think the position ought to be clear before we ask people whether or not they're interested in it, because we might get an entirely different set of candidates. Well, I don't, I don't think we really have time to, to re-advertise the position. I mean. Well, it depends on how long you want uh, the interim to work. Well, uh, the alternative to a full-time position would be to advertise as a part-time position. And, and that doesn't sound what we're looking for. I mean, I think there's a difference between saying it's a part-time position and saying, I think I can do the job in a little bit less than 40 hours a week. I'm comfortable with that as long as that, as long as we do have that flexibility. So if we, you know, the person we decide, the person that we want to hire, you know, wants to yeah. not work full-time as long as we're, um, as long as we have that flexibility, that's fine with me. I think that's fine. So, Tom, could you send up the information about the candidates? Can we look at them? Sure. And sure. Do Do you want to set a date? Do you want to start start setting up interview dates? I I'd like to start interviewing. Yeah. And maybe not this week, but maybe next week. And you, I mean, we just we just scheduled a, a had a you know squeezed in something on Thursday, but. Uh, maybe or maybe we could interview a couple of them on on Wednesday and then a couple early next week. Try to do them on consecutive well, days. I'd like to do them on consecutive days if we can. You mean one this, a, one a day? No, That'd no. I mean if you're going to break them up into two oh, days, do, do it on two consecutive days. I just so my memory is memory is fresh that way. Yeah. So how about, uh, well, we've got, aside from the select board meeting date of the 19th, we've got the 20th, 21st, and 22nd, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Does anyone have any preferences on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday? They both work for me. Um, I, I just, I, I think I'd prefer Wednesday, Thursday, since I will be away. I'd, I want, I'd like to have one. <laughs> <laughs> One day, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not working. Is it good for you, Phil? Okay. I mean, yeah. you know, I don't, you know yeah. when your meetings are going to be? They're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with the, um, Wednesday and Thursday, the 21st and 22nd. And great. Um, uh, you know, that. so do you want to set that up, Tom? See if you can invite them in. I don't, see if they're free. Those, those two days. Sure, sure. That would be the twenty-first and the twenty-second. Great. Okay. How about items not anticipated? Do we have any any items that were uh, that are? super important that we need to deal with right away that not from me usually none okay uh do you have an update tom excellent question um i i, I do i do have one one small piece of mail um just uh just uh, to let you know about that um, I, I, I have no formal update right now. Okay. Um, any select board member comments? Anybody have any comments they want to make? If yeah, not, then we can do mail. So Brendan. Great, thank you, Tom. Um, just a second, I'm just gonna switch my audio so that my wife can participate too. All right, um, so I'm just gonna read um, some selections from a message I sent to Erica. Um, so basically the gist of this is uh, we're living with a neighbor um, who 
is more or less constantly um, doing landscaping at our property, um, using a lot of heavy machinery. Um, and it really feels more like we live near, um, you know, industrial property um, or a golf course or something commercial rather than residential. Um, uh, we don't believe it's in keeping with um, the character of the neighborhood. Um, but, you know, my understanding based on the town's protective bylaws is that there's a carve out for, um, you know, un that it's not considered unreasonable noise if it's for a horticultural use. Um, and I think this is um, not really in keeping with the spirit of the bylaw that this person is making noise often five days a week starts to be yeah week weekdays and weekends starting before 9 a.m ending after 5 p.m my wife and i are both working from home currently we're here 24 7 um we have a young baby that's five months old so it's difficult for us even to really get out um and leave the house because we we're doing our own child care um, we can hear the noise inside our house um, as well as out in our yard so it's hard to even get a break um, and uh, we have contacted the property owner. Um, we got sort of a nominal message of consideration, but really no change in the behavior. Um, I have actually at this point filed a noise complaint with uh, the police chief. Um, I have not heard back on the status of that or if it was investigated by the, the chief of police. Um, so, you know, my request would, based on my understanding from the beginning of the meeting, would be to have an agenda um, discussion of, um, how um, noise complaints and noise bylaw, um, which is uh, chapter 22, section one, um, is a specific section and how that is actually handled um, by the town. So can we add this to the agenda for next week? Is that what you're, you're proposing? Sure. Sure, I'll put it right on. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you. Now, you like I said, we, you know, we're, we're, this this is not the appropriate time for us to have a, a you know, any conversation about it among yeah. the select board. Yep. So, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I just I was unclear about the format of the the um, meeting. So yeah, looking forward to discussing it um, next week. Congratulations okay. on. Congratulations on the child. Right? That's wonderful. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, well done. Well done, you two. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, are there any announcements? All right, and I'm I'm gonna leave. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Um nope. Not none for me. No. Great. Well, our next meeting is and I guess our next meeting is scheduled for next Tuesday. Is that correct? Oh, because Monday is, that's right. Is Monday a holiday? Monday is June Patriot's Day. Day. Or Patriot's Day? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not Juneteenth. That's coming up. Patriot's Day. Okay. Well, so, I mean, that's Patriot. What are we going to do about Juneteenth? Juneteenth? We're gonna, I, thought, I thought that there was some talk about switching off Patriot's Day to June, the Juneteenth. I don't think that's the way Governor uh, Baker set it up. There, there, there is an advisory out that, that says that states and municipalities um, are closed. State offices and municipal offices are closed. Um, there, there is no requirement that we pay employees. Um, but as, as I wrote earlier, um, I think it would be a good idea. Now, uh, when holidays fall on a Saturday, they are, uh, when movable holidays fall on a Saturday, they're um, celebrated on a Friday, and when they fall on a Sunday, they're celebrated on the Monday, and Juneteenth this year is on a Saturday, so it would be a Friday holiday. But Tom, I didn't think schools do that. Schools don't close on a Friday. They only do that on a Monday. Are already out of session. The Frontier's last day is June 10th this year. Well, and yeah, um, I don't know how many other movable holidays there are in the middle of the year. I think that 
you, you know, the, the, the other major one is July 4th. Hmm. Well, well, let's worry about that in June. So, so, so next week, though, we're meeting, we're, uh, we're doing our select board meeting on Tuesday, and it's not what we just told Ross when we talked to him about, about coming in on Monday. Yeah, we've had an email exchange. He understands he'll be coming in on Tuesday. <laughs> okay, great. I hate oh, that. I, I, Go ahead. I actually had Juneteenth on for discussion next week, but um, it, um, I don't know if you want to have that on or not. Uh, uh, sure. I, I mean, I think we should officially talk about it if we're talking about it now. So that would be good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to propose we close the meeting. Anything else? I second that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to vote aye. <laughs> good. I hear aye all around. Good. Okay. We made progress. We made progress tonight. Very good. Good day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. See you soon. Yeah.